with all of the eggs. I can guarantee you I have just seen without having to search. Check it out. Look. Egg, 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 egg. Oh, God! Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Uh, today is the beginning, the start of a much different video. I asked y'all, what should we do? What should we do with the pigeon trapping? Um, we trapped a banded pigeon, which was cool, but what can we do different? The trapping videos, they're fun and all, but I want to spice it up. What is it? And it got me thinking, and I was reading your comments, and it got me thinking some more. <sighs> I got a plan. We're going to take the trail camera from the back, the one that we were using for the turkey corn pile. We're gonna remove it, and uh, we're gonna head into town. We got the family loaded up in the truck, and we got old Frederick. What up, dude? We always got Frederick. But we're gonna go into town, take the trail camera, we're gonna go up on the roof real quick. We're gonna remove one of the traps, the south trap, that is. We're gonna bait it heavy. We're gonna put a big pile of bait there, without the trap, let it bake, let them get used to it. And then we're gonna start checking the trail camera every single day on the SD card and seeing what time the birds are showing up. Then we go hunt them by hand, catch them with a net. That's the plan. Well, hello there, family. Hello. What are you doing? Just waiting on you. Waiting on Not you. Go. What are you doing, man? Just waiting on to you. <laughs> Just waiting on daddy? Yeah. What are you doing, little lady? I was waiting on you, too. <laughs> All three of them waiting on you, Dad. I had to get out of the truck, unhooked from the trailer, and open the video. You know how long that takes. This is the camera we're going to grab here, this one. This is uh, where the turkey corn pile was. Oh, and by the way, we need to grab my turkey decoy. You're done. Your job is done out here, bud. Frederick? Don't be thinking about chewing my decoy up, dude. Don't even think about it. <sighs> Tired every time coming up the stairs. Here we go. Um, I'd be surprised if we didn't have a bird in the trap. But we're gonna see. We will see. Ooh, nothing in this one. Very, very surprising, huh? Wasn't expecting that. I figured, uh, I figured we'd have him in there. Nope, nothing in that trap either. So here is the plan. We're gonna do this one. The south trap, we're gonna remove it. So we're gonna put this over here. Put the trap in the corner so it can't move. All right, so this is what we got going on. We remove the trap from here, put it up against the wall, and then I put out some big old piles of feed. I put out three, one a little farther away, another one to get them closer, and another one to get them closer to the camera so eventually this is where i want to sit right in this corner and i want to get them used to being close to this corner that way we can net them by hand <laughs> if this works out it could be epic well it is a couple days later uh we're back here at the rooftop to to check the pile of corn and to get the sd cards i'm excited now one thing guys breaking news i just got on um another rooftop and it is like the central like grand central station for pigeons um uh, right now i mean especially there's a ton on it uh super pumped i can't believe i got on it but that video that th that this might be a long running video i told you that this video was going to be different and um I just ordered some nets, some big catching nets. So we're gonna try it on this rooftop uh, if the pigeons are showing up correctly. Oh, but old Freddy, we still got old Freddy. Good old boy. Well, let's go see what our pile looks like. Uh, 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 uh. Not a lot of difference going on. Seems like they haven't even found it. We gotta go to the new spot. This spot is just not near as good as that new spot. Uh, but we, let's go ahead and uh, pull this card. <sighs> you hear them bells in the background? That is the sound of, uh, I'm not saying we're done with this roof, but with the, the new one that we have, it's gonna be producing a lot more than this one. I'm hoping that this one ramps up a little more. We did, so here we go. 
that's a dove never mind this roof produces but right now see this one's empty i think i'm gonna go ahead and leave that one up there for now we're gonna pull the camera we pulled the card we're gonna put uh we're actually gonna take the other trap down uh we're taking the camera down i'm pulling that all we'll leave the one trap i might end up moving it over to this side right here get it away from that ac down here put it over here but we're gonna take this trap the camera to the new spot <laughs> well we are here check it out we got some friends right there like i said uh this rooftop there they go um it's just full of acs yeah, we got a dead one we got a casualty boys you always got a band check them though they got a major problem here and i mean major problem here uh, a lot of the times that you guys have seen me film them with a the big lens sitting up top that was uh that was here look at this uh i'm telling you this place oh what's that look at this here's a cd what's that that was like a, a reflector of some sort that was someone's pigeon lure in or no that's what that is they paid they i can guarantee you this business has paid a lot of money on pigeon detourants check it out that's pigeon detourant one two check this out we got eggs everywhere up here oh man look eggs right there oh, oh, oh my goodness what did I just get myself into? <laughs> oh boy, this is disgusting. So um, this right here is the example, uh, the word, the phrase pest control. When we're talking about, oh my goodness, look at this. When we're talking about pest control, this is what we're talking about. Um, this right here, businesses having to spend a bunch of money doing this. now. I told them that I would help them out free of charge. They haven't had anybody helping them out for quite some time. They've had some guys come and go, but they haven't had anybody stick around and help for a while. So it's a major problem. I mean, there's just dead everywhere. There's nests everywhere. Look at this. Oh, oh my, look at that. You got a nest under there. Wow, look at this right here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Those canopies are full of pigeon. Basically, I got, look at that. Look at that, wow. That canopy, they have two canopies just like that. And uh, they're infested, they're real bad. But I don't know how to uh, get up to them. If I had a safe way, to get up to them, uh, to the bottom, from the ground to the bottom of that is 15.6. 15, six. 15 foot, six, 15 and a half foot. <laughs> so yeah, finding a safe way to get up to that. But this is the beginning, this is the start. This is a lot more than I figured, uh, a lot to handle. Uh, uh, first, I need y'all's opinion here. With all of the eggs, I can guarantee you I have just seen without having to search check it out look egg 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 oh god two more eggs there's an egg in there look at this issue that is disgusting check it out just dead everywhere poop everywhere there's a nest back there right there with two more eggs this is pest control to the max, y'all. Wow, disgusting. Uh, it makes it a pain in the butt for the business, you know? It's not their fault that the pigeons like their place so much. Now trying to control it becomes really, really hard. So I need y'all's input. Would you guys wanna see maybe Jordan and I come up here, we can uh, round up some of these eggs, we can take them back to his barn where he can foster those eggs out while we trap so here's my grand scheme of things jordan and i on the next video trapping video we can come up we can harvest all the eggs up here 
take him back to his barn loft. He has a huge barn loft where all these pigeons are gonna eventually end up, the ones we catch. We can foster those eggs out. That means we can be taking care of those babies while we're trapping their, their parents and the ones that should be taking care of them. You know what I mean? We can trap them up here and then we can all put them back in the barn loft together. I think that's the most humane way to go about this. Now up here we got we got room for one, probably two, and right over here, probably I'm thinking three, one right here. They really like to congregate right here. Traps. I got one right now. This is crazy. The amount of eggs. Let's go look back here real quick. This is crazy. When I told her I was gonna do it for free, she kind of laughed at me. Now I know why. Let's look under here. Yep, oh, there's babies right there. Check that out. Check that out, got two. Oh. Check that out, we got two little babies right there. So, you know what that means. Jordan and I come back we can uh we can round all of them up look at this got another egg there and then two more dead ones gee many christmas there's another egg and a nest with another egg man it's just everywhere every corner every nook every cranny it's disgusting it's bad it's real bad this is way worse than I figured than I figured it would be to be quite honest. Oh boy. Well, we're set up. We're rolling. This is what I decided to do. This is where I put my trap. Uh, I put it right here in between this big structure because this pole they really like to sit on. There's a lot of poop up around here. They like to perch on all this stuff. So, long story short, they are already used to all this structure being here. So. We're gonna see if this works. I put minimal bait in the center of it. I just put some bait so they could find it. And so they'd feel comfortable around it at first. Um, like I said, we need to get at least two more traps up here. Well, I couldn't wait till tomorrow. I called Jordan, I'm like, come on, dude, let's go. I told uh, Jordan, um, he's the one that actually told me, hey, I think they're looking for somebody. Ooh, look at that Auburn. Ooh, there's some pretty pigeons here. Oh, boys. Uh, it's only been like six hours, five or six hours. I'm just interested if we have something in the trap yet. And I want to show Jordan the mess that is on top of this rooftop because it's disgusting. And I want to see what he wants to do too. Oh, anything in there? Is there? <laughs> yes! It's only been like literally five, five, oh yeah, five or six hours. Dude, four of them, he says. Four, the bearded man himself says. This place, dude, I'm telling you, it's got it's some everywhere. issues. Dude, I'm telling you, it is disgusting. So up underneath all these ACs, yeah, gnarly. over there in the corner, it's oh, bad. God. There's eggs everywhere. Look at that, four of them already. Holy smokes. That did not take long. I knew it. It's getting hot out too, so I was like, we need to stay on top of this trap, uh, this roof. It is black. It's gonna get hot. We're gonna catch... It. Okay, first off, is your loft capable of holding this many birds that we're about to catch? A bunch of them. I don't know that I'll be able to hold all of them, <laughs> but a bunch of them. It's gonna be a lot, dude. Yeah. Literally four hours, five hours maybe? Crazy. Dude, eggs everywhere. Look, one, two, three, literally everywhere. These are all junk, though, for Again. sure. They're not being set on these. Oh, are. they're not being. Oh, I didn't know if like the wind blew them away. Look at all the dead ones, too. We need to hook them oh, up. Oh, it is nasty. I'm going to bring up some trash bags and we're going to help them out, but it is nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Anything back there? Uh oh. Oh, I didn't see that baby earlier. Check him out. He's <laughs> the one that made it. Yeah, exactly. Here he is. 
ugly little critters them pigeons are but this uh i was telling the viewers that this place is like the hub oh it's where they all come to it's grand central station we're just gonna leave him there for now <laughs> here in about a week we'll take him home so we gotta uh, we we gotta go over to jordan's we gotta see what he has all in nests how many how many parent birds how many breeding birds see how much room you got available for all this but i just expanded the loft to twice what yeah. it was oh, so yeah, it'll it's hold a lot bigger i can easily take first 70 pretty easy oh so, wow it's a lot of birds yeah be expecting that on the next video i'm telling you right now uh with having four already in the trap literally four in four hours well look what jordan found he hatched today yeah. let me show you his brother here's his brother <laughs> exactly literally hatched today dude and look what's right beside his little nest oh a dead one that's great grandma grandma <laughs> golly i don't know if you can see that but look at their propellers in there their fan propellers dude everything is just caked with dead or eggs or babies or poop or yeah watch where you step yeah, buddy it's watch where everywhere. you step and that's why people spend so much money to get rid of these birds exactly it's crazy look at this guy here solid black bird no check no nothing just Oops. solid black completely black dude he's cool i like that he is a beauty a little skinny but you know you'll get that better at my place anyway well that is today's catch uh first day on the new roof jordan's gonna take him home he's gonna throw him in the barn loft if you haven't if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen the barn loft uh go over to jordan's channel go check it out he actually just did, yeah, she's not doing good. She looks a little goofy. Yeah, she's acting real weird. That blackbird acting but real But now weird. it makes me make that quarantine pen that everyone's been telling me to do forever. Right. With everything going on and us trapping this, this all these new onslaught, all these new numbers of pigeon, Jordan, for that reason right there, that bird's acting weird. He's actually opened up a quarantine pen where he throws them in uh, just in case they have a disease or something going on, a virus. He can wean them out before he goes and infects the whole loft. So again, if you want to see Jordan's big old barn loft, head over to his channel. I'll link him down in the description below. But yeah, she's acting odd, dude. I've never trapped one to act like that, really. She's just goofy. We I might just like want it. to dispatch her and be done with it. It might. I wish she just wasn't the cool looking one. Yeah. It's always the cool one that's got a problem. Right? Hey, man, what are you doing on my golf cart? Just going to get a popsicle. <laughs> You're just going to get a popsicle, huh? Yeah. What's all over your mouth? Is that chocolate? Uh huh. Oh, you've been eating cookies again? Uh huh. Well, we are back home. Well, hi there. Where'd you come from, Frederick? You want to go with us? You want to go with the boys? Well, come on, come with the boys. Well, we are home, and uh, boy, howdy. Yep, the new rooftop is insane in fact i knew it was going to be crazy i warned y'all before we went and checked it i warned y'all when we first got on it today and four birds in literally it was no more than four to five hours so just think how many birds we're going to collect over the next two months three months now guys i need y'all's help bubba we need their help don't we Y'all gotta give us your ideas. What do you want us to do? You want us to net them by hand? Do they want us to use the blow gun, blow darts? Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. I ordered a uh, blow dart gun, but I need to do some legality checking and make sure it's legal to do it there. Uh, if it's legal, it would be epic. It'd be pretty epic, wouldn't it, bub? Yeah. Yeah. But I uh, have a feeling, I just got an email, a little notification, and it told me that the package I've been waiting on is here. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy right there. What's in there, bub? Is that your shirt? Yeah. Oh, I wish it was. That, in fact, is Daddy's Ducks T-shirt of the month. Ugh. But I do want to open this bad boy up real quick. Ooh, look, bub. Maybe that's what we can do next. Oh, yeah, I know which one this one is. It's a good looking one, Bubba. You wanna see it? 
Oh, look at that, bub. Ooh, that's a good looking shirt right there. Check that bad boy out, holding up the old mallard with the curls. You like it, bub? Yeah. Me too. Ducks t-shirt of the month, only $14.99 to your mailbox every single month. And with designs like that, I'm telling you what, y'all, that's what saves me from going to the store and going shopping when I need a good new shirt to take the wife out in. But honestly, guys, I want to know your opinions. Do you want to see uh, some rooftop pest control netting the birds by hand? I have some ideas and or blow gunning. I think it could be epic. But guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. We're coming at you guys with three to five videos every single week. Sometimes I uh, daily upload. Most of the time, it's every other day. But I appreciate you guys being here so much. Without you guys, the channel wouldn't keep going. Uh, without ducks, waterfowl, uh, the channel definitely would not keep going. And without you guys purchasing it, it wouldn't keep going. So all three ways, uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for your support. We just hit 150,000 subscribers, baby. Woo, we're on our way. Uh, this truck is not stopping. This train is steady moving forward. Uh, trying to find my words because I'm so happy. I'm just so pumped having a good time with y'all. But like always, until next time. Peace.